Hi Libra, this is Char from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back and I hope you're well. I hope you've enjoyed the romance reading and last week's reading. This week I'm using the Pagan Way and the Everyday Witch as I'm working in the theme of Halloween and Autumn. The Also the Harvest Festival or the Fall Equinox. We've gone into Libra and also in to autumn and those are three things but there's also two moons and one on the 1st of October and the other on the 31st of October so one of these moons will be a blue moon and that will be on the 31st of October so magical things will happen once in a blue moon <laughs> you know the English saying also, I'll be using the Angel Feather card, the Answer of the Angels, and the um, uh, Moon Goddess, or the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck. So, let's, uh, before I go further, thank you, sorry, <laughs> thank you for sharing and liking and being so loyal. I do appreciate it very much and welcome to the new people and please subscribe and hit the bell on all and there also change your settings in YouTube and in your mobile device then you can get notified when I go live or when a new video is loaded up and also check out for your favorite um, channels Okay, so um, the uh, on the 31st, uh, it's Halloween or it's Samhain Festival, and um, that is Halloween. So uh, uh, if you are watching the uh, Witches series, then the Thursday before Halloween, there will be a fantastic, exciting episode. Okay, something to do with Halloween so watch it if you can and also there is a video out there about Libra's energy okay let's get started and your first card is the elder and the elder is the Hierophant he's the head of a church that's an institution and he does represent institutions and municipalities he is an advisor so you might be seeking advice from a mature man this could be a father figure or a mature man that you respect it could be your partner but it could also be a professional okay and there might be something uh, judicial uh, happening around you as we have also got the Queen of Swords so she is a lady you could be meeting a Libra because the Queen of Swords represents Libra but don't forget Gemini or Aquarius um, if you this is not a romance reading this is a general reading but compare it by all means with your romance reading the Queen of Wands, Libra, you, this could be you or you could be meeting one of these people. You could be meeting a lady that's a Libra or an air sign. But you are busy cutting the uh, rubbish or getting down to the core of things. That is what I'm feeling. You're using the advice that you're seeking to cut straight through to the core to an issue or a situation or a question at hand you might be doing something in business and you need legal advice and you want to come straight to the point you don't want to waste any time you're seeking uh, the truth you're seeking clarity and you're seeking on how to carry your ideas on perhaps Okay, it is a very fertile time at the moment and I know you stand for harmony and peace so you want to be clear so that when you have a conversation with somebody with regards to something that you can be precise and you can be sure of what you're talking about this could be uh, with a, f a friend or a partner at work or a partner in your life um, as you have the Ten of Swords. Perhaps you might need legal advice because you uh, have discovered something that is not quite uh, right. 
perhaps somebody your your partner or a friend has been unfaithful or been gossiping about you and you want to take legal action so you want advice and because the ten of swords means an ending this could be an ending to a business agreement or a partnership uh, be it uh, whether you're married or in your marriage or whether it's a partnership in at work it could also just be that you've bought something and you don't agree with it because um, and you're stuck to a contract and you want legal advice on how to um, not to pay this purchase because it's not uh, um, because it's not the right purchase for instance or it was damaged and this firm is still asking you to pay so this contract is like cutting away the BS and coming to straight through to the core so that you don't have to uh, be stuck to this agreement that it could be that as well I feel more it's something legal like that um, than a, a friendship that will be cut you will be getting news though as you have the page of pentacles um, and uh, it's something that you thought it was dur uh, durable and uh, would last for a long time perhaps you bought something and it uh, fell th uh, it, f it fell apart before the guarantee was uh, finished and you didn't have time for one or another reason uh, to uh, go back to the firm and do your complaint it was just one day after the uh, guarantee uh, ended so you want to seek legal advice you will get news on this and this news will be quite down to earth and straightforward that is what I'm hearing it's an earth sign and the earth sign is slow and steady um, but uh, with the news uh, it is more concerning about being down to earth and being true and also cutting this long-term agreement where there is an ending because the 10 is an ending um, there is a new beginning you could be meeting a young person that could be a Taurus a Capricorn or a, a, a Virgo but most most probably it will be a Capricorn because the Cap Capricorn is represented by the page of Pentacles that's prominent but don't exclude any of the others you have the six of swords so you might be moving home you could be going on holiday but you're leaving rough waters behind and you're going into uh, gentler or quieter waters so I think your advice that you get from your legal advisor uh, will bring you to uh, harmony and to uh, uh, a good place you could even be crossing water okay you could be actually moving towards the final point okay so don't give up it could be you that you feel that, that the purchase that you did it wasn't right you feel stabbed in the back by this firm that it could be just as simple as that um, that they didn't keep their promise to the quality of the purchase but like I said you are moving to quieter waters so I think the news that you're getting will be good news Pooh, and you have the world the world something is coming to an end yes that is that is here and also here and this is also my karma card the world and the wheel of fortune is my karma card so if you somebody did you wrong then they will get their karma back threefold okay and the same if somebody's done you good so if this man has done has given you good advice and you got the good news then he will get his due he will get his karma good karma okay now the world also means going up to the next level in uh, at work or in uh, your life in general this could also be in relationships 
you do have the authority figure here that represents institutions and a municipality. So in, in municipality is the register office. If you're thinking of planning uh, to get married, yes, you have got institutions quite a bit here. <coughs> Perhaps you have been going through a divorce and that will be finalized and you're moving in together, perhaps with a Libra, an other Libra or a Taurus as the Hierophant represents Taurus and we do have an other, the other earth signs here as well. The world, it can be anyone because in the world you usually have the earth, water, fire and air sign there. I think it's the bull and it's the Leo and it is the Aquarius and uh, Taurus. Okay, so there you um, don't hold me on to the four elements that are represented on the traditional tarot. I, I've forgotten, but I think those are the four. Again, you've got a lot of air in your reading. You've also got. Uh, before I go on to the Ace of Swords, uh, I just want to finish this. What goes up must come down, what goes round comes round. And so there will be an ending to a phase. There could be promotions, like I said, at work. You could be getting married because you might be you might have been going out with somebody whilst you were going through this divorce, but now you have a chance to get married and move in together. These two cards it means buying a house or moving home or going on holiday. You have victory, so you will be celebrating at the weekend okay as you have the ace of swords and you've got the wreath the wreath the champion wreath around the crown okay you could be starting a, a, a new communication or you can be starting a, a, a new uh, course or, or of course you might be starting to learn something new uh, the new communication uh, you could be a teacher you could be teaching or presenting something you, if you are going for a new job you might be a presenter you might be a teacher you might be a judge you might be uh, in a municipality working for an institution you could also be a surgeon or a doctor or a dentist or a mouth uh, high uh, cl cleanser uh, anything those are the professions or a butcher or a hairdresser any anything that cuts you could be the profession or the profession of communication or wisdom you also have the knight of pentacles so I think this is more likely to be uh, the victory in the in a court case in a judicial case but you could be uh, um, hearing about a job that is tangible and that is uh, that has duration and is for long term if you've been working on a flex contract uh, that you haven't got certain hours and it's not for long lasting this job that you're going for uh, this new beginning is for long term it could be the relationship with the earth sign so yes you will have this long-term relationship you might even get news yes you can get married that is also tangible um, but uh, we've had a slot you can marry a da -da 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 -da, such a date that will be coming through this could also be your marriage certificate okay that is tangible so you might be getting married at the weekend okay wow that's beautiful and if you're getting married congratulations and you have magneta or Mag magneta uh, angel feather barbie pink essence of an entrepreneur we were talking about work starting work as it, with a partner or having your own um, business so you could be starting your own business in communication or teaching essence of an entrepreneur the angels have witnessed your 
business flair and dedicated work ethic. They believe that you could aspire to be quite an entrepreneur if you choose to follow this path. And we have 37 which becomes a 10 and you have fruition. Well fruition means that you are going to harvest. And since we are at the harvest moon, at this moment we've entered, it could be happening this week. Your cards are very positive, but all the readings have been really positive. Fruition. As the seasons turn, there is always a time when all the potential of the spring beginnings and beings is manifested. The crops grow tall and are ready to harvest, and they have done this from a fallow field into which we have planted seeds. The trees have flowered and now there are there is fruit to pick. It is time for harvest, and that is what I can see with the Ace of Swords as you have victory. Boom. New beginnings, moving away from rough waters to smoother waters. You are going into your harvest time. And will you win? Yes. That is your le reading Libra. Uh, you are moving positively forward. You have not procrastinated. You've been busy. You've seeked advice. You've taken the advice. You've cut straight through to the core to get things rolling and started. Your beginning is here and your victory is here. Take care, enjoy the week and stay safe and be blessed. Ciao, ciao.